What is the greatest news flub of all time? Today, the staff and their always increasing desire to get on the air are going to share their all-time favorites. Ah. Gary, go ahead. This is a particular favorite of mine. You're up first. Well, there's been so many, but this one I love because it's so early. It's before the internet. You know, now when somebody does a news flub in Indiana, we get it on the internet right away. But this is from 1983. Emery King was on NBC National News with Connie Chung. He doesn't know he's on the air. She throws to him. President Reagan is thinking about changing his itinerary for his trip to Asia next month. And that might include cancellation of his visit to the Philippines. Emory King is at the White House this morning. Emory, has the White House more or less set the stage to scrap the trip? Hey, how do I know, Connie? Okay. Oh, my God. I'm very sorry, Connie. Good morning. The White House has obviously kept a very close eye on the situation in the Philippines. <laughs> Broadcasting 101. Just assume there's an open mic somewhere. All right, let's go to Will. I think this is definitely one of the, my favorite clips ever on the show. 1998, yeah. there's a reporter named Melissa Sander from WAGA in uh, Good Day Atlanta, and she was doing a live report from the Chateau Elon Winery and Resort, right? She's stomping grapes. You guys probably remember this clip. And she yeah. falls down. She, she's not permanently hurt, but the clip is so funny and it's so <laughs> great. Vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. It's a lot of fun, a whole day. Stop. Oh, 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 stop, oh, stop, oh, 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 I can't breathe. Stop. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. I think she's actually hurt. No, there. I think she is. Yeah, you she think? Hurt. She took a hard fall off there. Okay. Boy, gosh, I hope she's okay. Okay. <laughs> I think she's We're gonna actually make hurt. Make sure she is. We'll try and check on her and get back right. to you as soon as we can. We'll be back mm. right after this. I love the uh -huh. anchors at the end. Oh, dear. Yeah. I think she's yeah. hurt. I can't breathe. Oh, she might be hurt. <laughs> oh, stop. She's oh, stop. screaming like oh, a my. farm animal, and she might yeah. be hurt. <laughs> Sal, you're up. What's to you is the greatest news clip of all time? A New York classic from 2008. It's WNBC anchor Sue Simmons. She was recording a teaser going into a commercial break, but unfortunately, her mic stayed hot a little too long. At 11, pay more at the grocer, but getting less will tell you how to get the most. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's a good question. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Mine's another New York News legend, uh, Ernie Anastas. <laughs> and this is the year after the Sue Simmons thing happened, where he had this really bizarre response to a weather anchor's forecast. Check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. And I guess that's me. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do All that. right, don't we continue? What? What? Purdue Chicken had this tagline, it takes a tough man to make right. a tender chicken. That's what he was referring to, but it's unclear how that translated to Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> Jason, what do you got? This is one of my all-time favorites. And, you know, it's not even really a flub. It's just two people who fucking hate each other. And it just spills oh. out on air. You have an anchor in the studio, Jim Ryan. He is talking to a reporter on the scene, Dick Oliver. At one point, I guess, uh, Jim Ryan and Dick Oliver used to work together at a newspaper where Dick was Jim's boss. But now Jim's in the anchor seat. Dick is out on the field uh, reporting. And Jim doesn't like how Dick is reporting. Oh, I so remember this set one up for too. This clip. Yeah. As far as working, doing elevator repairs six, seven, eight o'clock at night, I don't see that as being a typical process. Nor do I. Is it a typical process to be right, working? We've got to go now. I want to okay. thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. All right, it's back to you, Jim. Ali, don't let her go away. This, uh, that, that's uh, what. Does she have a response to that? Is she still there? What's that? Did, did the lady just leave? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. We should, we should have kept uh, that discussion. She's back if you want her. Yes. She heard you. Yes. What would you like to know? I would like to know a response to what the gentleman said. The gentleman's a very effective spokesperson for the, for the company, but uh, obviously the people who live there are not satisfied with his explanation. Right. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ali, I'll do that later. Oh, why don't you do that later, Jim? Uh, I think the lady expressed herself, and uh, you're not here, you're there. Would, is there any question you'd like me to ask her? And no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter later well, I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss once. Yeah, you were, and are no longer. How did that happen? Uh, well, I don't Here's know. Here's Erin Bildermillo. Hey, good morning, Jim. We are alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. 
Oh, I love, I love it. This is what uh, inspired the Saturday Night Live bit that Bill Hader used to do, where he was like the super old reporter on one end and everyone starts <laughs> yelling at him. Yeah. I love this one because some of these you can kind of tell how someone messed up. In this one, I have absolutely no idea what went down here. It was a total like weird Freudian slip. So back in 2001, this guy, Eric Weyenmayer, became the first blind person to reach the summit of Mount Everest. So then reporting on this story was this ABC7 anchor, Cynthia Itzagiri, and she completely messes up describing the situation. After the break, we're going to interview Eric Weyenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll hear about that coming up. Okay, out. as we head to the break, a look at the six. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. How could a gay dude climb Mount Everest, for God's sake? <laughs> he could barely throw a baseball. <laughs> Greatest news flubs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>